Okay, great. So we're recording again. So since we're starting a new recording, this is our kind of special production, expanded production team meeting that we're having to go over the slides and the presentation for the FDA advisory committee. Um, so we'll treat this kind of like a normal team meeting. Um, so this will be made public if you guys agree to that. So um, let's go ahead and um, have everybody agree that with your thumbs up or in verbal agreement that we can make this video public, publicly available. Yes. Great. Agree. Great. Great. So I, I heard a yes, but I, I didn't, I, I know there's four people and we didn't see like Alexis, we can't see. Yes. A, yeah, no. that was me. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a yes for me. Okay, great. A less yes from Alexis and Sabah. Did we get Renee and Katie too? I'm sorry. Yeah, I said yes. Okay, great. I'm good. Okay, great. Awesome. Thank you guys. So first of all, just, you know, let me start with some claps for you guys because all of you have been really turning it up in the project in terms of uh, the presentations and everything that's been coming together. Super, super awesome. Thank you guys so much. Um, so let's go ahead. Yeah, I'm just seeing the message. Mariana, that's fine. Katie, I see the hard cut off at eight. That's totally fine. So yeah, we're going to do everything we can to be done by eight anyway. So that's cool. So let's go ahead and let's share and we'll do again just a quick um, overview of what run through of what we're going to cover. We're going to spend a bit of time. Katie's already really got her part of the presentation down, which is great. I'm pretty close. I have some some ideas. Will I'm, I'm not going to worry about polishing too much with you guys. I wanna polish it enough that we can pull out the slides and create the slides. And that's really what we wanna get done as our first priority in this meeting is get all the slides done for Katie and at least most, if not all of them done for my part of the presentation as well. And then after that, what we're gonna do, these are the things that Maria and Mariana are working on. We're not going to bring that into this meeting Probably it would be third if we get to that. The second thing we were going to get to is figuring out ways to include the experts and the whole expert part and um, and just really seeing what we can do to um, create an invitation to experts tomorrow, you know, to, to send out an email at you know five o'clock or six o'clock in the morning tomorrow to all the experts in our list saying, hey, we're doing this and, and we'd like you to do this or this opportunity is available, whatever it is, we're gonna see what we can come up with there as well. So, um, and I know Renasia and Johnny and others have been working on that. So we're gonna go ahead and see what they've put together with that and we'll go forward from there. But let's start with the presentations and let's, you know, if you guys haven't seen, let's see um, that we've got Katie's presentation done, excuse me. So if you haven't seen it already, when you come into this stock and let me share the link again. Oops. Okay, so there's the link again to our uh, our script doc, our presentation script. And so when you come to the top, so this first, as I mentioned over here, this intro is going to significantly change. It's not, we don't need to worry about that at the moment. This section here, Katie's section, this two minutes and 15 seconds is, um, finalized at this point, right, Katie? Is there anything else that you're gonna change or this is it? Unless anybody has any significant problems, it shouldn't <laughs> be <a few> words. <laughs> Unless anyone's ready for a fight, this is it. <laughs> That's great. Please don't go. <laughs> What's that? Please don't. <laughs> Please don't, right, yeah. 
Uh, okay, cool. So, um, perfect. So you guys can read it whenever you want afterwards if you haven't read through it yet. The thing that I'm going to focus on and I, I are, are basically three things. These are my three bullets right here. So just to tell you guys what I mean by those things is that um, the Lancet article is the article that the two FDA officials that are resigning um, are, uh, that, that's the, where they publish their editorial. This is like the main quote from it. Let me read this one quote to you guys so you can kind of get it. So they say, although the idea of further reducing the number of COVID-19 cases by enhancing immunity in vaccinated people is appealing, any decision to do so should be evidence-based and consider the benefits and risks for individuals and society. COVID-19 vaccines continue to be effective against severe disease, including that caused by the Delta variant. Most of the observational studies on which this conclusion is based are, however, preliminary and difficult to interpret precisely due to potential confounding and selective reporting. Careful and public scrutiny of the evolving data will, need, will be needed to ensure that decisions are boost, about boosting are informed by reliable science more than politics. So that was a real specific reference there. Even if boost, this is kind of the big one, even if boosting were eventually shown to decrease the medium term risk of serious disease, current vaccine supplies could save more lives if used in previously unvaccinated populations than if used as boosters in vaccinated populations. Okay, so what they're saying there, and we'll cut that down because I'm not going to read that whole thing in the presentation, but I'm going to read at least some portion, perhaps just that last sentence. And I think perhaps another sentence from uh, this. So we can actually go ahead and take this one sentence and we can add it to the slides, right, to, to, to one of my slides right now. So let's go ahead and let's do that. So here's our first slide that was out of my presentation. Um, okay, great. So first of all, let me give you guys some credit who's been working on the slides. You guys tell me who's who's been on this, who's created these already? Mostly Johnny. Mostly Johnny? Oh, great. Great. So anybody else that's here, has anybody else here created any of these slides? I think I saw it. Did, Sabah, did you work on it some? I think I saw you. Uh, no, I did not get any chance to edit on slides. No, nobody else? Okay, so let me, let's go back and let's look just to remind me and remind you guys who's on our slide patrol. <laughs> Okay, so slides, Katie, an hour and a half, Alexis, three hours, and Sabah and Johnny and Renasia, Sabah with two hours, Johnny with three, and Renasia with three plus. So if it's just been Johnny so far, do all of you guys have like a couple hours at least to work on this tonight if necessary? I think we can probably get done within the next hour, but let's just see where we get done. Let me not even ask. Let's just go ahead and get 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 going and get this done. But um, let me go back to the slide and let's just go ahead and paste what I had into one of these slides here. So this is mixed messages. The one thing about this slide, just to let you guys know, I don't think we want to use any slides that have needles. I think we're going to stick stay away from that. So we'll leave this here for the moment. <laughs> Who just deleted that? Hey. Katie, can you put it back, please? Yeah, I want to I want to keep it in here because maybe we'll use it for something else. But um, but I don't think it's going to be one that will include in this presentation. Um, 
I think, you know, what do you guys think in terms of the, the, uh, the types of slides that we're seeing here and all of that, the images that we see here? What do you guys think about what you're seeing? Hi, I have a question actually. Great. Um, when did we put in the group, cause I'm looking in the group, did we put in the group that we were splitting up slides or how we were going about slides? Because maybe I missed that. Um, just trying to see how we're going about it. No, I didn't see any message in any of the groups about splitting up slides. Did anybody else? I think we originally asked if anybody was married to doing any slides and um, then the conversation came to, well, let's finish the presentation before we worry about the slides from my reflection. Okay, it sounds very- So reasonable. was it uh, just every, just anybody jump in or how are, we, how are we going about it? Like what's the structure of it? Well, well, Alexis, let me actually, you know, Trying to come back to you on that because that's where I was just taking a look to remind myself, you know, who the co-leaders are. So I see that you and Katie are the co-leaders for the slides. So the question that you're asking from my perspective is really the conversation for you and Katie, ideally to have had already, but you know, you could have at this point. But really that's where as the co-leaders, it's who, who else is there to figure that out but you, right? That's kind of the way that we're, that I see it, at least. You guys see it that yeah, way? Yeah, I definitely agree. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and I think in the future, especially when we're this far along where you guys were, you know, adding yourselves as the co-leaders days ago, that that could have been figured out and then provided as a structure for the people underneath, right? Yeah, get, definitely. I, that's why I said I asked yesterday what the structure was going to be, but I didn't hear anything at all. So I was asking yesterday before we got to the meeting today. Okay, great, great. So when you were asking, were you asking me specifically, or was there, were you just asking to the group, or how are you directing that question? Um, well, I spoke with Katie first, and then I brought it to the group. And then we said we were going to focus on the other things. So that's the last thing that I heard about the presentation. So I didn't even know it was a presentation created until the meeting. Okay, great. So you didn't even know that these slides existed? No. Yeah. So I think, you know, it's perfect that you're saying that because it's perfect example of um, some of the holes that we have right now in our structure. Um, this, these slides were shared by Katie, was it? Or Renasia? Who shared this, this slide deck first? Uh, it wasn't me. Yes, yeah, she, it was created yesterday, but I didn't see the graphics that we have on it um, right now currently. So the slides were there, yes, but I didn't see like it was fully like created how it is. It's done really nice though, I really like it. But I yeah, this this again, Alexis. It's 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 where you know I wanted to give you know each one of you guys as leaders the opportunity, and I know you haven't had the benefit, Alexis, in the project of being a leader and kind of seeing how it goes and what needs to be done. But the biggest thing, the leaders that are the leaders in the project know, the biggest thing that has to be done is kind of going to each person on the team one by one and kind of checking in where they're at and what needs to be done and, and that sort of thing. So um, I think, you know, again, just to have your finger on the pulse, just to have if you're going to, and again, I know I didn't say all of this directly before, and that's why we're going through this now so we can learn that that you you know signing up to be the co-leader is the opportunity for you to direct it and not not ask others you know how is it going it's like you get to decide you and katie get to decide you get to get you can have input from the other people and you can you know start a separate group chat or in our regular group chat you know say hey sabah and johnny and renasia how are we going to do these slides who's doing what you get what i'm saying 
Yes. With, without, without you doing that, then what happens is whoever is above you in the hierarchy of management is now having to kind of pick up some pieces from you know your and Katie's group. And I understand that it got put off to today, so I'm not placing any blame or anything like that. It was, it, I understand that you were being proactive yesterday saying, you know, how are we going to do this? Maybe I could have been more verbal at the time. I was very overwhelmed yesterday with a lot of stuff. So I wasn't replying to every message, you know, in detail yesterday. So it could have just been me not getting back to you the way I should have. But I, what we're learning now is we're learning exactly how we can like really rip through it next week. And I think we've talked about it enough to now we'll say, okay, great. We're all learning. We're figuring it out. The next time through, we're going to have it totally down. So let's just dive right back in. And the first thing I want to get a sense of, well, first of all, any questions or any comments from any of you before we move on? Is that, do you feel good about that, Alexis, the way we have it now? Any things that you want to say about it? No, that's not, like I said, it looks nice. Um, and I'm glad that it came together. Yeah, I want to have a sense, again, you guys have heard me talk about, but I keep seeing these types of graphics, you know, that you guys have done um, before for our social media, and now we're seeing it in here, is um, I want to get a sense, let me move these things around. Oops, I wonder if it's this presentation. I want to get a sense if you guys feel like this is the look and feel we want to have, especially since a lot of you are on the production team. So is this what we want to put out there, you know, as um, so again, like in this case, specifically, this is where we would have this, uh, this message that we have. So that's that's the main thing for me is like, okay, we're about to have this message. Let me duplicate this slide so I don't mess it all up. Um, we're about to have this message from these people at the CDC that are, are resigning. Is it going to be appropriate? Is it going to be powerful? Is it going to be an impactful message by having, you know, these kinds of people on the slide, right? So that's what I'm trying to understand and, and you guys help me get a sense of, right? Is this what we're looking for, you know, in terms of what our slide should look like or something like that? What do you guys think? I'm kind of of the opinion of with the more, serious quotes to refrain from using graphics all the time just to give it a little more gravitas um but i think with certain quotes that'd be fine but like i think if we were going to include the one that you're talking about from the lancet i would not do a graphic and just let the words speak for themselves so you'd have no graphics on the page you'd remove this entirely yeah i and think also mm -hmm. i'm sorry go ahead and also when you do, like, whenever you're doing, a, like whenever the slides are repetitive, like the titles, can we make sure that we like put continued beside there? I didn't, I don't know who did that. Um, I didn't want to change it without asking because I don't want to, you know, change anybody's slide. But putting continued beside that to, to let people know that this, is, uh, this isn't a new slide, but just a continuation of the first slide that yeah. we had the title, yeah. Got it. When it says mixed messages over and over and over again is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good point. I think that's a good point. The thing for me about this, let me show you guys. Let me copy this. Now, this specific um, design that we have for the um, the, the, the PowerPoints or the slideshows that we've done before. Um, we don't have to stick with that exact layout. Oh, did it just die? It's not good. <laughs> the program didn't open. Let me do that again. Oh, it's here. That's weird. 
Okay, so you guys can see it okay, right? So this is, um, you know, kind of our, we had before we had the circular logo up here, which by the way, we're not using the circular logo anymore for anybody, a couple of people have been popping in, in things lately. So I just want to remind everybody, this is what our logo looks like now, not the circular logo anymore. But I like, you know, this type of slide because now with this, you know, we can have this quote and then, you know, we still have You know, we still have, it's still a graphical slide, right? With the logo, maybe we'd make the logo a little bit smaller, um, but it's still, it's got the arc, it's got some visual appeal, it's got some depth, you know? So to me, I, I personally like a slide like this much better than a slide like this, where there's like nothing of that except for this little black border and, you know, brown border and gray border. So what do you guys think? And I'm not saying we can't add other stuff to this, but I, if we're gonna go in this direction, I want, I'd like to have like a template that's a little bit more rich. I don't know a better way to say it and textured and interesting like this. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, Alexis? Um, what if we add um, on the border? how it's brown in what was that brown and black or brown and blue um maybe we can add the blue color that you have on the main page to keep incorporating that color in there yeah i could see you doing that and i think that that would you know help a little bit to have a little bit of brand consistency and again it's not that i'm totally committed again to this design if anybody else wants to come up with a better design and, and that, you know, could be it is just, I'd like, you know, just something that's better than this design, which again is just this little border going around the outside to me does not make this slide interesting enough to look like anything else other than like some words in the middle of a blank page is still what this looks like to me. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, I agree with what you're saying. I was going to also say what Alexis said about like putting the background more towards the branding. So what we could do with what you showed is basically like put like a semicircle, like um, white, and then we have the text over here. And then in this corner, we can put the logo. Maybe that could work. But I... What you just described, I think, is this, right? Or is kind, of like, it... kind of like backwards, kind of like the semicircle from left to like the middle. And then on the, mm, like the upper, not the upper, but like you, the you down don't, part. You don't, need right? to you don't need to describe it exactly if you're able to create it. Do you have the, mm -hmm. skills, you have the skills to create that, Maria? I could try it on the slides to see what are the templates and like the designs. Yeah, so that's the other thing that I'm wondering about. I haven't worked with Google Slides at all, so I'm not familiar with what, you know, all the Google options are for all the templates and that sort of thing. Um, but I'm thinking that what we really want in the longer term is not one of the Google standard templates. What we want is a template that we've designed ourselves just like this one and i like you know this one but i'm open if you can create a better one to using a better one but the question i have is once you create that are we able to use it in google so i think maybe we need to have somebody looking that up right now on google to actually see like custom what is this even called? This is, is this presentation or what? Is, how does Google call this? Oh, slides. So this is Google Slides. So can somebody look up? Who's going to do this? Raise your hand so we don't have everybody doing it. 
So which one of you wants to do this right now to look up whether we can make a custom um, template for Google Slides? So you'll look that up, Maria? Okay, great. So while Maria is looking that up, let's, to me, you know, there's two things that are happening right now. One, we're finding the content we need to put on the slides like we just did here. So we've got one slide with one content. Are these slides here, Katie, is this real content of yours? Oh, we don't have Katie here anymore, huh? I'm here. Hello. You are here. Oh, I'm not seeing everybody. Oh, got it. Uh, so. Yeah, Johnny put those graphics in. I am not 100% oh. sure I need to look at them again. Okay, so they may be appropriate for your presentation. You're not sure? I think they are. Okay, so why don't you all... Uh, while Maria is looking up the thing, you'll also examine these and see if you want to use these and see if there's other, and this is where, you know, maybe there's other things that you want to potentially use and we can do, we can all do a little searching to find what you're looking for. Let's go back in to the presentation itself and let's have Katie, you walk us through it where you can say, you know, I want to I want to slide for this. I want to slide for this. Like I think you can pick out, you know, three to five slides. I don't know. You you see how many slides there are in your presentation here. Do you want to you want to share your screen and kind of walk us through it and find the slides in your presentation? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, great. And let's hear what Maria has to say before that. I have a question. So like from Google Slides, I can um like Hi Mariana, thank you. See you soon. Okay, from Google Slides, I can customize that. Like I know how to do that. I can try now. So it would be okay if I do it on the actual slides that we have right now. And then I know that we can download that PowerPoint, that Google Slides presentation, and get onto a um, PowerPoint. When you download that, that gets to a PowerPoint. So that will be okay? Yeah, well, um, it'll be good for us to have it as a link as a PowerPoint. The one thing that we did for James is, let me show you guys. I forgot that I didn't even show this to you guys yet. Um, let me show you what we ended up doing for James's presentation. So you heard when he spoke that we said, you know, it was live on the website. So this is what it ended up, what I ended up putting on the website. So we have the one slide here as a graphic. So we were actually able to export it directly out of Google Slides. So what we did is you just go ahead and choose the slide like this one, and then you do file, download, and then you can download that one file current slide as a JPEG or as a PNG. So it made it really easy to just go ahead and download each one of the slides. So when now when you go to vaccineconsiderations.com, it's just these are just images over on the left of each slide. And then over on the right is the actual text that James read during the presentation. But now what we've done in addition is we've added these different links. So now all the references to all of the materials that he was referring to in the presentation are now, you know, actually on the slides as well. So that's essentially what we're going to do again for Katie's and for mine. You know, we'll throw them up on the home page while it's new and fresh, and then we'll go ahead and then have, add them to our FDA presentation page, which I'm going to be working on today, you know, when it's later. So that's basically it. Okay, Renasia, we'll see you later. Um, so the, um, yeah, so in terms of, you know, it doesn't actually have to become a PowerPoint, Maria. Um, in this case, for what we're using these for right now at the moment, we can, we can use Google Slides and we can export a JPEG and we can use that for the website. Yeah, I, I meant that for like having the like the image, having the 
the visual, like the document basically. But if we can actually like download that into a PNG, that would be awesome. So yeah, it's fine then. Yeah, the, I, I, we probably also want to like export it as a uh, PDF so that people can download it if they want um, with all the different links and that sort of thing as well. Um, so for now, you know, this is this is what we got. So basically, if we want to, um, did you find if we can just create a custom graphic and use that as the template for the Google Slides? I'm about to do that. Where is the slides? Do you guys put it over here? Oh, um, let me add it to the chat if you don't have it. Hold on a second. Thank you. Okay, it's in the chat. Okay, so so you continue to look that up because as soon as you find, it should be pretty easy. I would imagine Google Slides would have that functionality since I think PowerPoint and Apple do and they want to compete. So we we'll probably have it. So if we can use our own custom, you know, background graphic, I have, I'm almost 100% sure you could. I can imagine they couldn't do that. And then, you know, we can put our whatever we want on the slides. It's fine because this is, you know, we get to collaborate in Google like we like to do. So it's fine as long as it does that. And then, you know, the question again right now is just going into the presentation itself and pulling out the content. So Katie was looking up, looking at those slides. Did you complete that, Katie, or are you still working on that? As you said that my computer glitched and died, so I am looking at them now. Okay, great. So you'll go ahead and keep looking at them. Maria will keep looking at the other. So what we'll do in the meantime is I will pull up like the next bit of content that I'm going to make into a slide. So I've got The Lancet and then Dr. Fauci is the other uh, quote that I for sure want to use. So so I'll just duplicate this one for now just to keep it simple. And Okay, the other thing that I wanna do like in this case for the Dr. Fauci, now I've done this in the past with other slideshows, um, is to go to the, the source. Oh, here it is. Here. To go to the source and then um, take a screenshot, right? I wonder if it's going to get the Zoom stuff in front of it. So, and then with the screenshot, then come in here, you know, and uh, and add. Let's see if we can do it that way. Okay. Guess I'm going to need to crop it. All right, I'm not going to get into all the tools right now, but you get it. And then I would have this smaller in the background, and then the, you know, maybe let's do it kind of like this. Okay. So that's an example of a way that we can set up the slide. Again, we can use more graphics, but we can use a screenshot to show the, um, you know, to show the, the, what it looked like, what it looks like online to add a little bit more of, you know, the, the visual aspect to it. The thing I'm thinking about as I'm saying that is I'm wondering if we're 
in danger of any kind of copyright concerns. I don't think so. I think we're just showing, um, you know, what's online, like a lot of people do a lot of the time. So I think we're okay. So these aren't the actual ones I want to use. I want to actually clean the screenshots up a bit, but I'm putting them here as like kind of placeholders so that we, if we want to go in this direction, we have the idea of it. Okay. You, what do you guys think about this kind of technique of making the slides more interesting by bringing in the, the image of the where it came from? You guys like that? I like it. I think it's a really good idea. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Possibly what we could do as well. Let me do it this way. Anybody else have any thoughts about that? So what I want to do is I want to create a solid white background to this text box. Does anybody know how I do that? I don't see it here. Maybe this fill color. This color it. There we go. That's great. I'm going to get rid of this just to make it simpler to show you guys the concept. So again, we maybe would change it, change the cropping so it comes out better. And I guess I could crop it, but give you an idea of what I'm trying to do with this. So something along these lines where now like that almost like becomes the background. And then we have to quote this, I think is getting too busy as I'm doing all of this. Yeah, I think this is getting too busy. Anybody like where I'm going with this or better the other way? Mm, I, like it. I like it better that way than the first way. You like it better this way than the first way? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, because it's easier. It looks to me like it's easier to read, like the background. The background. You like the bigger background taking up the whole page. Right. Okay. And maybe we could even like blur it a little bit or put a drop shadow on it or something like that. Maybe that would make it even helpful and add the drop shadow. Okay, so, okay, good. Well, we're, we're discerning what we're liking with the layout, which is cool. And we're starting to get our content together a little bit more, which is good. Does it, who else has an opinion about this? Because I want to see, do any of you like the first way better? Let's go back again. So the first is where it's more of a small image and the text is taking up most of the page. And then the second is where the image is more of the background and then we're putting it in here. What I would like to do is I'd actually make the, um, I would make the mark, the padding bigger. So then we it, it can stand out better. What do you guys think now? That makes it a little bit easier to read, right? And we've got more white space around it. Something like that. What do you guys think?
first picture looks better, says Sabah. So first slide, this slide, Sabah. Yeah. Yeah. So you like this one better than this one. Okay. Yeah. So Sabah likes the first. Alexis likes the second. Um, how about you guys, Katie and Maria? First or second? First, second. And again, this would change because this even has, um, we would crop it better, you know, if some of that's getting busy for you or anything, like we can take out our faces and stuff. I think that I like the second one better, but it's more like difficult maybe to understand since the text is kind of part of the image. Uh-huh. That's, that's a very good point. So you like the second better, but it might be a little harder to, to comprehend. And Katie, yeah. mm -hmm. what do you think, Katie? Uh, I guess I think I would like this one better. Yeah, if the background was blurred and um, maybe if like the, I assume we would crop the top bar out. Um, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I think I would, I think I could with a little bit of finagling like that one better. Okay, so do we have people here that would be doing the finagling? <laughs> finagling. Um, uh, Maria, Alexis, Sabah, Katie. I know, Katie, you're getting, you must be getting near the end of your hours for all of this. I, I know you were stretching them out. Um, where, do you know where you're at, Katie, in terms of hours left towards this? Um, I guess you still. Yeah, have, I guess you still have the other part down here with the experts, right? So, yeah, I guess if we're not going to do that right away, I can donate that to the presentation. <laughs> so you've got an hour and a half for the slides. Mm -hmm. um, the two hours for the presentations, is that where you ended up basically for your presentation? Yep. Okay, good. So uh, for the creating the slides, we've got 45 minutes in now. Is there other time that you've got that, it, that you've put in or you still have another 45 minutes or so and then another hour and a half down here? Is that where we're at? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, okay, and then Alexis, you said you have up until 11 tonight, which is awesome. Is that still mm -hmm. the case? Yes. Okay, great, great. And then Sabah and Maria, what's your guys' availability for the next hour, couple hours as we're working on refining these and getting them together? Um, actually, I would have to go. Uh, I can't be on the Zoom, but I can edit. You can edit? Okay, great. So I think, you know, part of it, it's going to be like doing what we just looked at, where it's going to be clicking on the link, um, finding the background and cropping it the way that we want to, and then putting this text box over the top of it. And but now that you've seen it, and now that we have this model in this one slide, is so did we, did we finalize as a team, Maria, did you give your input of which you preferred? Which version you prefer? Yeah, I did. I'm going to send now the the branding template. Just right now. Give me okay, one great. second. So I so I'm sorry, I forget. Did you prefer the first one or the second one, Maria? The the second one actually. The second one. Yeah. Okay. And Katie liked the second one with some finagling and um, Alexis liked the I'm sorry, remind me, Alexis and Sabah. I like the second one. You like the second one? Okay, great. Mm -hmm. And Sabah? Yeah, now I like the second one. After oh, you like the second one. Okay, great. Okay, so then I think 
you know, and let, we can make this bigger. Maybe also the text being similar size is yeah. it makes it difficult. Let's, let's make the text. Hey, Jared, uh, I have a really quick question. Yes. Are we we're gonna be on the Zoom call together the whole time? You're talking about you're talking about now tonight? Yeah, until eleven or uh, no, no. We're oh, gonna, okay. We're gonna try to wrap this meeting up by eight. I think if anybody else wants to keep being on Zoom, I'm I'm certainly open open to keeping it open so we can keep talking. Um, but I wanna as much as we can be able to, um, you know, be able to work on our own on it as much as we want. I think that, yeah, that sounds good too. Yeah, we're getting close to where I think we're each going to be able to just be doing it. You know, we're all getting on the same page with what we need to do. Um, so Maria just shared. Let me click on this. The template. I have a quick question. Also, thank you. Um, is it possible, like before we leave off, if we can um, maybe separate so that way everybody's not like doing the same thing as somebody else? Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes total sense. So I think now is a good time where we can um, go ahead and have. Thanks for this, uh, Maria. I think the one thing I see from this is are we going to have enough room to um to put like text and other stuff and images the the i think the logo is getting too overwhelming here yeah i was also worried about that it was not letting me to like have a format that it was with the logo like smaller i can try i can still try but yeah I think the same. It's too big for the. Well, I think I, I think again. You don't need. I believe that you can just we can just use a JPEG image as the background, right? So you can create that JPEG image in Photoshop or Illustrator or wherever you want to create it. So you don't have to use the Google tools to create whatever you're going to create, right? Yeah, actually for this, it was not letting me on Google Slides. So I had to go to PowerPoint and then save it and then open from Google Slides that PowerPoint and it's this basically. So but, but when you said it wouldn't let you, it won't let you use a custom JPEG as the background image. It was kind of hard. It was not giving me many options. I, I want to give that a try because I, I feel yeah. like I feel like I could do that pretty quickly, but I want to, um, I don't want to spend a lot of time on it now, but let me just see really quickly. So is this special? I see it's got some buttons I haven't seen. Theme, layout, background, change back. Well, I don't want to change the background on yours. Let me go into the other one with that there. And let's just do a duplicate. And So did you try this, Maria? Yeah, I was going to tell you, yeah, I tried that. And it's just like the parts that are with the color, and that is just what covers the picture. So it's basically, it, it doesn't be, it, it's not visible because you have the, the blank, I mean, the white square frame. So then where you have the image is actually like at the, in the background where you have the color. You know, you know what, I'm sorry, Maria. I want to have you stop talking for a second because I'm not following all the explanation that you're giving. And let me, I don't, I don't, let me just try one of these first and then see what happens because I want to understand this first. And then, um, and then maybe I'll automatically understand what you're saying from what it does. Or, or we'll see, an error occurred. What error occurred? Why, why would an error occur? Happen. Um, let's not do downloads to that's some considerations. So, 
Jesus. Okay, so now we've got it in the back background there, right? And then how do we, what is, my, what is this? Let's get, let's get it so what is this white box that's on top? How do I get rid of that? Is that the point you were talking about? Yeah, like that's the format. So basically you cannot change the, I can't change the format that the bat all that I'm going to see in the background is this little background back here. Yeah, no, I tried all of that <laughs> and it didn't do anything. And also with the picture, when you add those themes, those themes like add to the picture so it would be like i don't know like the picture with kind of a filter that makes the the image more i don't know like with a highlight or something okay i think i again i don't want to wait spend the rest of our time on this but um, is there anybody else here that feels like they're good with these tools and can figure this out? How we get rid of this white box and we can see the background. Nope. Okay. So I think Let's go back to Katie, where Katie, you were going ahead and oh, somebody's done something there. Who did that? What happened? That was me. I was just changing the theme, I think, or the light. No, it was a layout. The ply right. layout blank. Right. right. Yeah, that's why I was making a duplicate, actually, so that we could keep it in that one and then we could have it uh, we could create a new one. So, well, I've got a, a backup basically now in the draft. So, yeah, you were changing the layout, you're saying, baby, instead of the theme, and that was doing it? Yeah. I just did blank. Uh huh. Okay, great. So, that's what did it basically. Just changing the layout, and then that gives us that image as our background. And then we can put whatever we want on top. Okay, so, okay, good. So we figured it out. Thank you, Katie, that's great. So the process now, just so everybody saw, is we change the background. Under background, we select choose image. And then we can, once we choose the image, we can browse or we can drag and drop, although the drag and drop didn't work for me, but the browse worked. And then once we do that, then, we can go ahead and change the layout to blank, and then that'll take away the big square or whatever else might be on the page. And then we'll have the background with whatever other elements we want on top. Everybody got that? So perfect. So that, um, okay, great. So we know how to set up custom. We can, I can export so what do you guys think? Because I can export this um, as a image without the words, of course, that could be our template, you know, something along these lines, I would actually make this smaller. But um, you guys like this as a template or you wanna, Maria, do you wanna work on something like you were thinking about, but use a different program like Photoshop or something to create something? Or illustrator With Photoshop, or... I try and it says that I have my disk full. <laughs> so I would right. have, but I don't know why. Okay. So, yeah. 
Okay, yeah, yeah. So is your disc actually full or is it just saying that? That happens to me like a lot. So maybe if I just delete like something, it will let me. But on Photoshop, it's kind of difficult for me. I don't know how to do that. Okay, it doesn't have to be Photoshop. I'm just saying, you know, is anybody here, does anybody here want to try to create a better uh, template than this with this just being smaller um, than this? Or are we happy with this as our template for now? I like it as a template, honestly. Me too. Yeah, you guys like this template? Okay, good. So I will export this as an image and then, so let's get the template just down really quick. We're almost at the end of our time. You know what, forget it. I'll just mess with it and it'll be fine. So let me go ahead and go back to, Katie, I want you to just do a quick, you know, walk through with us of your presentation to kind of pick out the, the slides or maybe show us how you're gonna market so that other people can come in and actually go ahead and, and um, you know, turn what you've got into slides. So, oh, is that what you did? Okay, great. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, so I, I just highlighted what I thought would be good and um, put slides and I think, um, I think actually we managed to already have all of the ones that would make good slides. Uh, so yeah, so like the two uh, graphs that um, Johnny had actually worked very well. Uh, so those are good and I put them in order and then I added another slide with just the quote from uh, Dr. Gabriasis uh, and then that next slide is fine. Uh, and then, yeah, the last slide is just kind of a... So does, it, does this really say anything? It's kind yeah, of... Yeah, talking about the increases in cases over time uh, by poverty, which is kind of what we're talking about. Okay, so, okay. So in your presentation, um, have you, what what there is for you to do is what Johnny did, or not Johnny, but James did, um, modeling after, you know, this is the system that I found is most effective because when, when you're actually having to say, next slide, please, to the person, but you're, mm -hmm. the, you're actually not gonna be saying that to the FDA people because they're gonna be stuck on that one slide that said, yeah but you are going to say next slide because you're going to be directing people to the next slide. And actually we're probably going to number it so that people don't get confused when you're saying next slide, next slide. Okay. So, we'll, so we'll put numbers on each of these slides and then basically somewhere in the middle of your presentation and that's where you'll have to decide like if it's going to be here. And I'm mm -hmm. just doing this as an example and then you can change it. Um, and then slide number two, something like that. All right, and, mm -hmm. then, and then you'll go ahead and um, so, so, you're, so this will change into this slide one, slide two, this slide three, this slide four. So you'll break it up for us so that mm -hmm. we can put it on the website. And then what's going to be the process of taking like this so this is what you've designated oh so this is what you're saying is going to be the slide that's already there okay great mm -hmm. and then this is the name this new slide just to close so you did that one yeah and, okay and then this is number four where you've already got the, the graphic okay and then ending slide with just the scientist graphic so that's the next this, one, yeah. This one? Okay. So okay. So are you gonna put any words or anything on this, or is this just gonna be like a break slide between you and I? 
I think it could just serve as a break slide. Okay, cool. Okay, great. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. So these are gonna be your three slides. So it's just a matter of putting the background behind this one. And for these two, um, can we make this bigger? The words bigger, is that okay with you? Yeah. Bless you, Maria. Um, okay, and then for these, I guess they're pretty much gonna have to stay that size. Okay, so, and then I guess we'll see if there's a way we can get the template in behind this, or you think that's gonna be too much? Probably not going to really work. Uh, maybe not. Yeah. All right. We'll we'll see if there's anything we can do with it. But I'm trying <laughs> to see. So Alexis, you're going to be working on some of these slides. Maria, you're going to be able to work on some of these slides tonight too. Okay, great. So all right. So we've got Katie's pretty much done. So it sounds like it's just going to be mine, and I'm going to work on. So I've already shown you the two of the three so no feedback i'm not really sure that's probably going to be more of like a calendar or something i'm not really sure how i'm going to make that slide so i think it's really just these two to begin with right now um and we have johnny coming back in welcome back johnny great to have you back oops so okay so maria alexis you guys want to trying to see what actually needs to be done here so this one is close to finished you can polish it up a little bit and then we just need to kind of change this one a bit get the graphic a little bit better okay so those aren't going to use the the template either I'm not sure if there's anything left for you guys to do. I think maybe we've gotten it all done at this point. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, everything really looks good to me. I think we're pretty close to there. I think um, I think I'll I'll do this one better. This one's close to done. What do you what needs to change on this one? Do you guys think to make it? Perfect, or is it ready for prime time for you from your perspective? Can you put like a shadow That's through the just, yeah, so frame? Just, I'm trying to put a, fra a shadow on this. Is that what you're talking about or something different? Like on the text, on the Y frame of the text that is below? So that is separates from what is a picture. So this, this it's kind box, of like this a box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that box. That box. What is what is this back there? Oh, so this is just that layout is the problem. Oops, that's not. What is this white here? So that white is part, that was the layout, right? Or was it, let's go back. Isn't that how we got rid of that white before? But, oh, but that just got rid of the back too, right? All right, so if we're gonna get blank, then it has to get rid of the other thing. So, Let's, let's duplicate this real quick. Okay, so is this good or we should probably make it like a like our color blue in the background, right? Is that what you guys think? 
like uh... yeah my computer got me out of the presentation <laughs> Hi, um, I have to go, unfortunately. Um, okay. But I'm gonna be working on it over tonight, and I'll um, see what I can contribute. Okay, great. I think the other thing, like we talked about, is figuring out what we can offer to the experts. So I think Alexis, and because you're on that too, right, Alexis? So I think yes, if, I am. If you and the others, Renasia and. Uh, Johnny and Katie. So we've got Johnny and Katie here too. So if you guys can all connect about how to really, you know, what can we offer to experts tomorrow, you know, figure that out and then just send, you know, post it. Here's what we think we can offer to experts tomorrow. Yeah, Johnny, you want to say something? Um, you can go, you can go Alexis. Thank you. See you later. Okay. Thank you guys. Have a good night. Yep. You too. You too. Um, I wanted to show you the Q&A right quick before everybody goes. Oh, right. Did you have that ready for the meeting last time and didn't share it? Oh, cause um, I'm sorry, it went over my head since we're near time. I just remember it now and then that's why I came back so I can show you. Yeah, definitely show me, but let's also make sure, let, let's let's kind of get everything squared away with Katie and, and Maria first. All right. Show it, cause Katie needs to go now too. Okay, Katie, see you later. So just keep connecting with them and and uh, thank you for that. Thank you. Okay, cool. See you later. And um, okay, so, all right, you're okay, Maria. You wanna see what Johnny has to share in terms of the, uh, you, you need to go at 8.15. Okay, you got eight more minutes. So- It'll be, a, it'll be quick, two minutes. Okay, go for it, Johnny. Okay. So let me put this up. Let's see, where is the share screen? Um, assessments, there we go. Okay. So this is a quick um, example of it. Is this the preview? Okay, yeah. I, I was trying to fill out a, um, a description. That's pretty nice. It goes like, would you like to add your email? Because I think if they, if anybody wants to reach out to them, they should, we should um, have a place where the emails offered for them for us to get to. Um, in, in this particular case, they cannot um, put a polling answer without an email. We're only going to restrict this to the experts that we're reaching out to. So everyone that, that is filling this out, it's not an anonymous thing. Okay. This, this, everybody needs to be identified that's filling this out. Okay, understood. And then, um, so I'm gonna take this out, the email portion out for the experts. And then I, the second portion, here are some questions. What is an emergency use authorization for anybody that don't, doesn't know? Um, what are your parents or children yeah. being vaccinated? Uh, do you see- So hold on a second, Johnny. I'm just, I'm confused by what you said there. So I wanna make sure we're on the same page. So when you say, what is an emergency use authorization? Yes. When you say for people that you're asking the experts to give their their definition of what an emergency use authorization. Yes, for yeah. anybody that doesn't know, is um, is some questions I was thinking about for people that might the average people, the normal people that might n not know about the the topic. Uh, right. Or, right. Hold, yeah. Hold, uh, I, I just want to make sure again we're we're on the same page. So you're saying you're you put this here so that the experts can answer it so that people that don't know when they go to the website they can see what the experts say. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. The this thing is about, this oh, the I'm thing sorry. About, yeah, the thing about it for the emergency use authorization is that that is not an ambiguous answer. We can go and pull the definition from the FDA what an emergency use authorization is and we can share that on the website so that people that don't know can see what the answer is that we're giving to them. It's not, we don't wanna waste experts time asking them to give us an answer that we can find somewhere else that isn't like an opinion-based uh, question. Okay, yeah. yes, yeah. I understand. Okay, yes. cool. Okay, great, go ahead. And um, in here, 
the last two questions were, do you see booster shots becoming a yearly checkup similar to flu shots? Uh, yes and no. And if a new variant were to come out, would the boosters defend vaccinated individuals? Um, so, so we, um, the idea of it is perfect. We're doing exactly what we want to do. We just have to refine the questions a little bit more. And maybe, you know, it's just, um, you know, because in terms of if a new variant were to come out, would the boosters defend vaccinated individuals? There's nobody that can predict that. So we can't ask that as if there's a definitive answer. It, right. and, and, you know, it's really, it, it's based on the variant, right? It's, it's worked so far with some, it's not, anyway, I don't want to like nitpick on the questions. Like we said, we're going to have to, you know, go over the questions and find the right questions. It's really the functionality that you're coming to us with. So that's the important part about this. So it's so far what you're showing us is what we're looking for. So that's great. Okay, thank you. Yep. I'm gonna yeah. keep working on it for tonight, okay? Well, I don't, I, this is where I wanna make sure that we're using our time most appropriately. So in terms of working on it for tonight, I think what you can do is you can work with the others to find the questions that we would wanna ask that people would wanna know the answer to, maybe like top booster questions. And there's some, um, can I share for a second, John? Can you, thanks. You know, there's some articles out there that are already addressing, um, you know, top booster questions. And we've, um, let's do, you know, we can start with these as a way to, um, you know, hone in on what, what are the top, top questions that we want to put into a poll. I think like five to 10 is going to be the best, but, you know, you can use these, oh, this is a paid one. You know, you can see there's article after article, top booster questions answered, right? Because of course, that's what people are looking up. This one's pretty recent, September 24th. Okay, what are boosters? I'm not sure if we wanna do that one. Who is eligible? That's, so again, is this something that can be answered? Like, you know, doesn't require an expert. So, These are all like logistical. Do I need to show proof? Do I need to show proof? Are boosters a full dose or half dose? And we're saying they still considered fully vaccinated. So again, most of these are factual questions that we don't need to ask. So here's the one that you're just asking. Is this going to be an annual booster like a flu vaccine? So now of course, here's the answer. We don't know that yet. Um, should I expect the same side effects? Okay, so from my perspective, that none of the questions in here are any of the questions that we're looking for. Um, it's more a matter like the one that you had, which is, you know, what is your opinion? Well, you had something along the lines of what is your opinion about boosters for children or something like that, right? Is that what you had yes. there? Yes. Yeah. So that's, so that's along the lines. The challenge with that is that I don't even know if we're getting to boosters with children. Boosters with children isn't an option yet. Um, I don't know if and when they're gonna go in that direction. Probably not actually, because they're withholding a lot of- I thought of the question because the, the article, there was an article and news coverage of it in um, I think CNBC was covering it that they were getting close to um, authorizing it. And that's why- Authori I Authorizing a vaccine for children. They're, they're going to be, they're going to be discussing the vaccine for, ch from ch for children from five to 11 years old. Is that what you're referring to? Yes, if I recall. Right, that's, that's the vaccine for the first time for children that are five to 11 years old. So that's just the straight vaccine. That's not the booster. The booster was if they got the two doses, the kids got the two doses of um, Pfizer 
you know, and then six months from now, then they get another, you know, a booster. So the booster, right. the, so, so the booster for kids is way off in the distance at this point. So, so. just rephrase it to the uh, vaccine shots for children. Except that tomorrow's thing. Isn't, yeah, it's, it's not about that. That's next week, right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, okay. So, so tomorrow is about boosters. Tomorrow is about the Johnson and Johnson booster in particular. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I have a lot to, I have a lot of questions. Okay. Because Johnson and Johnson is the one that had uh, the lowest of the results, right? And had the problems that were occurring with the, the individuals. Right. But the okay. other thing, the other thing to understand is that as of right now, um, the FDA staff is not recommending that the Johnson and Johnson booster get approved. Okay, perfect. So, okay. So I can, I can, I can work with that. I can work with the questions for, for this. But, but I want you to listen to what I just said. The, the FDA is not recommending that Johnson and Johnson get approved. Right. So, so that means that after tomorrow, Johnson and Johnson boosters won't be an option for people, almost for sure. So that means that if there's any questions about, you know, is it safe to get a Johnson and Johnson vaccine? Anything, anything about that is all a moot point because they're not going to be available anyway. So we don't want to spend our time asking a bunch of questions about a vaccine that's not going to be in circulation. Get it? Right. I get it. So that's where we have to make it more generic about boosters in general. You know, maybe something along the lines of, you know, are there any circumstances where you, you know, do you support the WHO's position on boosters? Now that's, WHO. That's, okay. a, that's a question that we can ask directly is, do you support the WHO's position on boosters? Do you support the FDA's um, position on the Pfizer booster? What do you think about Dr. Walensky overriding the CDC um, committee's recommendation? Or maybe some, maybe, do you think it was appropriate um, for Dr. Walensky to override the CDC rec recommendation? Right. So now you're starting to get an idea of the, the questions that we can have in our poll, right? Yes. Okay. So I think now, again, what I want to ask you to do is to um, use this sheet for polls it's just you right now as you see however yes. however all of these people are helping all of this stuff so you have renasia katie and alexis to help you on this as well okay. okay so you can go ahead and you know reach out in the team chat the full team chat to share your, the questions you're coming up with and ask them if they like them. You can share a link to the poll itself and see if they like the format and how it's working. You know, whatever, whatever you need to do to advance the ball, you're kind of taking the lead on this because you're the one that's under polls right now, but you've got these others to support you with it. Does that, right. does that sound good? Yes, okay. So I'm gonna go into the WhatsApp group chat and uh, request for help. Okay. I, yeah. okay. I, think, I think the other thing is, are you able to make me an admin of the of the Google Sheet or Google Form so that I I can see what's behind the scenes and all that as well? Yes, I believe I can. Okay. You can just... use, you can use this account, which is team team P E A M at vaccineconsiderations.com. Okay, I see. Team at vaccineconsideration.com. Okay. Considerations. There's an S on the end. Make sure you do that because I thought you didn't have that in your poll. Team at, teams at vaccines. No, not vaccines. One vaccine, two considerations. Here's okay. what it looks like. 
vaccine, vaccine, vaccine singular considerations plural. Oh, vaccine consideration. And uh, while we're and while we're at it, uniting and not united, just so you know, it's always uniting with the G on the end. Okay. Okay. Uniting. Okay, understood. Okay, cool. Okay, great. So I think that's great. You, I really appreciate you picking up the ball and running with it in terms of the polls. And that'll be really good for us to start um, getting that feedback and seeing where people stand. And that's a tangible way that we can start to get the ball rolling with this. So that's really great. No, no problem. Uh, one more thing. I have, I think I created the perfect Zoom link for the um, invites. Great. For the emails. Great. What for do I, the, yes, for the experts. Do you want me to, um, what was it? I was going to say, do you want me to send you the link so you're able to send it to the experts or are we supposed to find a way to send it to the experts? So, so help me understand what you're saying. I'm not sure I'm actually following you. What do you have? Can you show, oh, can you show um, me what you have? Can it's you, just a regular Zoom link, like a Zoom meeting. And I, have, I just have to send the invites to the people to get in for the experts. Um, so no, 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 no. how do I send this? It's one second. I'm trying to, how do I send, how do I show? Oh, okay. I didn't set it up properly. Similar to how we are doing our meeting right now, I am created a Zoom meeting for our Actually, oh, they want me to, okay. They want me to sign in to Word for some reason. Word message, messenger. Let's just create a meeting. Okay. What time do you think the meeting will be for the experts? That's when I'm not understanding what you are actually um, meaning, okay. about, Johnny. You tell me what meaning, what because, meaning oh, about. I'm sorry about that. It's because in, uh, um, in, on the sheet, that FDA uh, presentation sheet, responsibilities, it says there was two options about sending a, um, creating a Zoom link for the experts. Yeah, creating an email invitation and creating a video invitation as well. I thought, um, I thought the objective was to create something similar to a Zoom link for the experts to join. Can you, can you show me the exact words you're referring to which number here Nine number 10.4 and 10.5 okay create an email invitation create a video invitation okay got it so what that means is that um when we are going to tell the experts hey we have a poll we want to invite you to come respond to this poll then you're going to create an email that's going to say that, hey, expert, we have this poll. Do you want to respond to this poll? So that's an email invitation for them to come and do it. And then you give them a link to the poll. Right. And, then, and then the video invitation is where you actually shoot a video of you saying, hey, oh. experts, we have this poll. Here's the link in the description. Come and okay. Join. Okay, that that makes so much. Okay, understood. I I there was a miscommunication, misunderstanding from from my point of view. Thank you. You explained mm -hmm. it perfectly. Okay, I understand perfectly. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so it's great. I'm glad that you're on those two things because we do need to do that as well. There's a lot of uh, emails we've sent out in the past that Maria and Mariana are very tuned into. So please work closely with them on that. Um, okay. Yeah, go ahead and you know don't do don't spend very much time without checking in with them. You know, spend about fifteen minutes on the email invitation before you get their feedback. You know, and see what they think, and then maybe spend another fifteen minutes and get some feedback or half hour. But see how it goes. But I want you to work closely with them where you're not you know, spending an hour or two working on something without getting any feedback from anybody. Okay. Right, understood. Okay, so I think that's good for now. Um, oh, actually the invitation to experts, 
they actually have worked on that already. Now that I think cool. about it. The, okay. Let me. Oh, okay. Let me Perfect. let me send you the link to what they've come up with. Um, oh, I'm sorry. One second. Someone's calling me. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, so I'm putting I'm putting the link in the chat right now that they um, have shared in terms of what they've worked on, and I'll show you what it looks like while we're uh, while we're looking here. So it still needs to be polished up, but it's a good start. So here's what it is: their invitation to experts, and then you know gives some background and. Um, they said interested in attending our FDA presentation. That's not exactly what we want to ask them. It's asking them if they want to, uh, you know, share their input right. on the Google on the form. Um, and we'll also, we also have to give them some more context about what we're doing with experts for action and all that sort of thing. So that's kind of the thing is that's the part that still has to kind of get figured out is like how do we do, how do we talk about the whole context of experts for action and all of that but you get the idea enough connect with with uh mariana and maria and here's the starting point and then you know once we once we come up with a good version of the email then we can work on the video i'm not sure we're going to get to the video tonight we'll have to see we'll have to see how fast we can go through this stuff okay understood okay. Okay, okay, good. Any anything else that you want to cover before we wrap up here? Um, no. The slides are okay, right? We said we're we're done with the slides. Oh or yeah, I'm sorry. You were not here for all the time that we went on the slides. So we all really appreciate what you put together in terms of the images and stuff. Um, these two slides, Katie really likes, and she's going to use them. So that's great. She really appreciates what you found with those. We're figuring out how to do like slides with quotes and that sort of thing. So we're right. heading we're heading in this direction is what we came up with is okay. making a background of like the website and the headline, and then kind of putting in what the quote is, something like this. Okay. And, and then um, the we're, we're talking about how to work in images like these because most of the slides that we want to have it's like a serious quote and serious stuff and this is a little you know a little more whimsical. Yes, um, this, I understand. Yeah, this slide actually Katie likes, so she is going to actually use this as kind of like her end slide between her slide and my slide. So that's cool. Um, Perfect. Yeah, and, and we like these things that maybe we'll use them in other contexts. It's just, you know, right now that what we're doing is looking more like this and and these, the ones that you did. So- It's perfect. It's, it's perfect that um, most, most a lot of them got approved. That's, that's, that's the thing that, that makes me happy that a couple of them were useful. Yeah, yeah, it's great, it's great. Awesome. Yeah, so we appreciate it. You did a great job with that. Thank you for that, Johnny. It's really great. Um, and you're doing a great job with all you're doing. I really appreciate you taking on all these different aspects and, and just diving right in. That's really great. Thank you so much. No problem. Awesome. Okay, great. Any other questions or feedback or anything? Um, no, not, not as a moment. Thank you. Thank you, Jared. Okay, you're welcome, Johnny. Have a great night and I will see you later. Thanks for everything. Likewise. Okay, great. See you later. Bye.